The artwork titled The Screen was constructed by Ever Munch, is a painting that exists in four forms. Its original piece was created in 1893. The early version of this scene was created by Munch on a cardboard surface using tempera oil, paints, and pastels together. Ever Munch wrote in his diary where the inspiration for the scream came from, as it stated, I was walking down the road with two friends when the sun set. Suddenly the sky turned as red as blood. I stopped and leaned against the fence, feeling unspeakably tired. Tongues of fire and blood stretched over the bluish blackage forward. My friends went on walking while I lagged behind, shivering with fear. Then I heard the enormous infinite scream of nature. Some of art historians called the scream much as a reaction to Impressionism, which seemed to bore him. He complained it just showed people knitting or reading and indicated Expressionism in his work, which is an era that emerged simultaneously in various cities across Germany as a response to a widespread anxiety about humanity's increasingly discordant relationship with the world and accompanying lost feelings spiritually and authentic styles, allowing artists an attempt to dissect their own psychological cores into their work. The real scene of the screen is provided through this image that is now on the hill of Ekberg, Norway, on a path with safety railing. The faint city and landscape represent the view of Osa and the Osa Forged. At the bottom of the Ekberg hill was the madhouse where Everest Munch's sister was kept, and nearby was a slaughterhouse in the town where the screen was to be heard. Although on May 3, 2012 in New York City, the screen was sold for $120 million at the Sosby Art Auction to a man named Leon Black, in 1939, it was purchased by Thomas Olsen, a patron and neighbor of Munch in the tiny Norwegian town. During World War II, Thomas Olsen hid the scream in dozens of Munch's artworks in a remote hay barn to protect them from the Nazis under German Chancellor Adolf Hitler, who branded Munch's paintings as degenerate art and removed his work from German museums and other places. His paintings were taken to Berlin and auctioned. Hey, yo, cool, I'm Y'all can come help me with this real quick? Yeah, what's up, What's up, broski? Sir. Well, it's this little painting, you know, it's called Scream. I wanted to see if it was more like realism or expressionism. Y'all can help me out? Yeah, we got it. Let me look at it. Looking at this, mm, if I was to give you one, I would say realism. Because, I mean, you can see the girl, look, she's screaming. I would say that's a girl, at least I know she follows. But, I mean, you can look at her, she's screaming because there's two suspects over here. I mean, they're looking kind of suspicious. I mean, they got dark clothing. Mm -hmm. I was nah, nah, let me yeah. see. Yeah, I mean, just look at it. This is not realistic. This is expressionism, man. Obviously, the painter is trying to portray that there's a lot of confusion in the world by the, you know, distorted picture and all the numerous colors. You see? I mean, I mean, no, no, but. No, 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 no. I, I, the or, I mean, you can look at it from a different perspective. I mean, instead of the girl, look at it from them. They're probably scared of her. If you see somebody doing this in the real world, would you approach her? She does look kind of scared. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't, I mean. Nah, no, but still, I think. Oh, just, just look at it, man. Hey, I, look, I, I see where both of y'all are coming from. Y'all got two good opinions. I, I accept the opinion. You know, I'm just going to, I'm going to write it out both sides. Like Munch, we all face hard times, but I feel that I can relate more as death has hit me a lot lately. At the beginning of the 2015 fall semester, I lost my grandfather. Less than two months later, I lost my brother who committed suicide. It drives me crazy thinking about my two loved ones that I've lost. And from time to time, like Munch, I come to a peaceful spot and find myself.